Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History, written by Vashti Harrison. Harry Belafonte, 1927, singer, actor, activist. Harry was born in Harlem, but spent much of his childhood on the island of Jamaica, where his mother was from. In New York City, he and his immigrant parents lived with other families around the world. Harry always remembered how hard each family worked and how little they earned, and how much they supported one another. School was difficult, and Harry felt that it, he didn't fit in, so he dropped out at 17 and joined the U.S. Navy. Later, Harry discovered that he was dyslexic, which explained why school was such a challenge for him. Afterward, it was by chance that he found his calling. While he was working as a janitor, he received as a tip tickets to a play. Harry had never been to a play before and fell in love with theater. He took acting classes and started auditioning. But when he landed a job at the nightclub singing popular songs, he found success. As his career grew, Harry chose to stop singing familiar hits and instead sang the Caribbean folk songs he had heard growing up, such as the Banana Boat song, day -O, and the Jump In Line. Americans hadn't heard anything like this music, and Harry became a singing sensation, known as King of Calypso. Throughout his career, Harry received numerous awards for his performances as well as his humanitarian work. He never took any roles that demeaned black people, and later he created his own film production company, which made movies that defy stereotypes of blackness. Harry gave a voice to the underrepresented cultures and altered the image of black people in the media. Harry worked with his friend Martin Luther King Jr. and fought for civil rights, marching and protesting, as well as encouraging other celebrities to participate. He even helped organize the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Harry used his talents, popularity, and prestige to help make real change in the world. He encouraged future generations of artists to use their voices for good.